अनंत पंचमी अनंत गुणमी बुद्ध की निर्वाणंदत धर्मंदत बुद्धिदत शिष्पर जोगे प्रतीक्षण रद्दय में जोगे प्रतीक्षण अंग अंग जोगे प्रतीक्षण अनंत पंचमी अनंत गुणमय धर्म की निर्वाण दत्त ज्ञान दत्त बुद्धि दत्त शेष पर जोगे प्रतीक्षण हृदय में जोगे प्रतीक्षण अंग अंग जोगे प्रतीक्षण अनंत पुण्यमय अनंत गुणमय संग की निर्वाण दत्त धर्म दत्त बुद्धि दत्त शेष पर जोगे प्रतीक्षण हृदय में जोगे प्रतीक्षण अंग अंग 
देर सांस का काम करें आते हुए सांस के प्रति सजग जाते हुए सांस के प्रति सजग नासिका के नीचे ऊपर वाले होठ पर होने वाली संवेदना के प्रति सजग Start with the awareness of respiration, awareness of incoming breath, outgoing breath, and the awareness of sensation on the area below the nostrils above the upper lip. Khub sajag rahe, khub sachet rahe. Remain very alert, very attentive, very att- attentive, very alert. अब विपसना शुरू कर दें विपसना शुरू कर दें और स्टार्ट प्रैक्टिसिंग विपसना सिर से पांव तक पांव से सिर तक सिर से पांव तक पांव से सिर तक सारे शरीर में शरीर के अंग अंग में अंग अंग के अणु अणु में जहां जहां जैसी जैसी संवेदना महसूस हो रही हो उसकी सच्चाई को स्वीकार करते हुए उसके अनित्य स्वभाव को समझे
और सानित्य बोध के आधार पर समत पुष्ट करते रहे प्रज्ञा पुष्ट करते रहे अनित्य है अनित्य है अनित्य है सारा शरीर स्कंद अनित्य ही तो है सारा चित्त स्कंद अनित्य ही तो है अनित्य ही तो है अनित्य ही तो है इन दोनों के संसर्ग से उत्पन्न होने वाली सभी संवेदनाएं अनित्य ही तो है अनित्य ही तो है अनित्य ही तो है ये होश बना रहे ये बोध बना रहे ये प्रज्ञा जगी रहे प्रज्ञा जगी रहे समता पुष्ट होती जाए पुष्ट होती जाए पुष्ट होती जाए Keep moving, keep moving from head to feet, from feet to head, from head to feet, from feet to head. Whatever sensations you experience on the way. Keep on understanding the characteristic of every sensation. The characteristic of every sensation is anicca, 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 impermanent, impermanent, impermanent. the entire physical corporeal structure the entire psychic mental structure constantly changing constantly changing constantly changing and the sensations which arise due to the contact of mind and matter the sensations are also constantly changing constantly changing constantly changing Keep on realizing this reality at the experiential level, the universal law of impermanence, anicca, anicca, anicca.
and with the wisdom of the understanding of anicca maintain perfect equanimity perfect equanimity perfect equilibrium of your mind perfect equipoise of your mind perfect balance of your mind संवेदना चाहे जैसी हो अनित्य ही तो है अनित्य ही तो है अनित्य ही तो है हो सकता है कभी सारे शरीर में घनी भूत ही घनी भूत दुखद ही दुखद संवेदना महसूस हो हो सकता है कभी इस शरीर में और कहीं सूक्ष्म संवेदना महसूस हो अथवा हो सकता है कभी सारे शरीर में सूक्ष्म सूक्ष्म तरंगों वाली सुखद धारा प्रवाह की अनुभूति हो चाहे जैसा अनुभव हो अनित्य बोध छूटने न पाए अनित्य बोध प्रबल होता जाए प्रज्ञा पुष्ट होती जाए समतान होती जाए कितनी ही दुखद संवेदना क्यों न हो पंच मात्र भी द्वेष चलने न पाए कितने ही सुखद सूक्ष्म संवेदना क्यों न हो इसकी वजह से राग जगने न पाए रंज मात्र विराग जगने न पाए जो अपने स्वभाव से अनित्य है परिवर्तनशील है देर सवेर चली जाने वाली है बदल जाने वाली है अरे उसके प्रति क्या राग करें क्या द्वेश करें क्या राग करें क्या द्वेश करें होश ही जागे होश ही जागे अनित्य बोध ही जागे अनित्य बोध ही जागे और समता पुष्ट होती रहे पुष्ट होती रहे पुष्ट होती रहे
quite possible that at times you may experience very solidified, unpleasant sensations, cross sensations throughout the body. Quite possible at times you may experience a free flow of very subtle vibrations, pleasant vibrations throughout the body. Quite possible at times you may experience gross sensations on certain parts of the body, subtle sensations on other parts of the body. Whatever the sensations may be, See that you don't miss the understanding of the law of impermanence. The basic characteristic of every sensation remains the same. Arising, passing away, arising, passing away. Anicca, anicca, anicca. With this understanding of anicca, see that you maintain perfect equanimity, perfect equanimity. No more craving and clinging for pleasant sensations, no more aversion and hatred towards unpleasant sensations. Always equanimous, always equanimous. जब जब भी पश्चना का अभ्यास करें समता को पुष्ट करने का ही काम करें जितने जितने समता पुष्ट होती जाएगी उतना उतना स्वभाव से चित्त निर्मल होता चला जाएगा समता को पुष्ट करें समता को पुष्ट करें कितने भी सुखद संवेदना क्यों न हो राग जगने ही न पाए कितने भी दुखद संवेदना क्यों न हो द्वेश जगने न पाए जगने न पाए Every sitting of Vipassana should help 
the strengthening of the equanimity. Strengthening the equanimity. This sensation or that sensation makes no difference. Equanimity is most important. Keep on developing your faculty of equanimity. Based on the impermanent nature of the sensations that you experience. Sambhidhana ke anit स्वभाव के आधार पर प्रज्ञा पुष्ट होती रहे समता पुष्ट होती रहे खूब सजग, खूब सचे, the sensations on your body. Anicca, Anicca, Anicca. Sara Shadida Prapancha, Sara Chit. तो प्रपंच इन दोनों के संसर्ग से होने वाली सारी संवेदनाएं अनित्य ही तो हैं अनित्य ही तो हैं अनित्य ही तो हैं
the entire physical structure, the entire mental structure, and all the different sensations that, that arise because of their contact, they are all impermanent, impermanent, impermanent. Constantly in a flux, constantly in a flow, changing, changing, changing. Anicca, Anicca, Anicca. Anitya hito hai. Anitya hito hai. Anitya hito Khub sajag, khub Remain very alert. Very attentive, very vigilant, very vigilant, very vigilant. Anicca, 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 
अनित्य बोध छूटने न पाए समता टूटने न पाए Changing, changing, constantly changing. Parivartan shil hai, parivartan shil hai. प्रतिक्षण प्रतिक्षण परिवर्तन होते ही रहता है उत्पन्न होना बे हो जाना उत्पन्न होना बे हो जाना ये इसका स्वाभाविक धर्म है इस सनित्य बोध से समता को बल मिले समता को बल मिले समता को बल मिले Keep on strengthening your equanimity with the understanding of Anicca, Anicca, Anicca. Understanding at the experiential level.
अनित्य ही तो है अनित्य ही तो है चाहे ऐसी संवेदना हो या वैसी संवेदना हो चाहे इस कारण से हो या उस कारण से हो हर संवेदना अनित्य धर्म है परिवर्तनशील धर्म है यहोश पनर है यहोश पनर है इसी के आधार पर समता पुष्ट होती जाए पुष्ट होती जाए पुष्ट होती जाए खूब सजग खूब सचे खूब सचग खूब सचे very alert remain very alert very attentive very alert very attentive constantly aware of the impermanent nature of the sensation and to develop equanimity equanimity equanimity
sarvasampati sadhaka sabitane anamadeetva samaga sasane rata का अभ्यास करेंगे चाहे तो शरीर को जरा शिथिल कर लें मंगल मैत्री का अभ्यास करेंगे वी शल नाउ प्रैक्टिस में तबाव न फॉर ए फ्यू मिनट्स यू मे रिलैक्स योर सेल्फ एंड स्टार्ट प्रैक्टिसिंग में तबाव न फॉर ए फ्यू मिनट्स हो ये सब जगत का सुखे हाँ ये सब लोग दूर हाँ ये दौरे दुख
सारे प्राणी सुखी हो सुखी हो सुखी हो सब का मंगल हो कल्याण हो मंगल हो कल्याण हो मंगल हो कल्याण हो Be happy, be peaceful, be liberated, liberated, liberated. Sarvatu, Sarvamangalam. Bhavatu Sabha Mangalam Bhavatu सुखी हो सुखी हो सुखी हो वॉट इन्फॉर्मेशन आर गिविंग टू द चाइल्ड वॉट ट्रेनिंग आर गिविंग टू द चाइल्ड this child will be miserable the whole life so this is the proper time when you give good message to the child good nutrition to the child many pregnant mothers are coming to the courses with the intention that i want a dhamma baby i want a dhamma baby yes they get dhamma baby because they are giving so good nutrition to the child isn't peace possible without torturing your body why to torture the body that means you are generating misery for yourself by torturing yourself and you say this will relieve us from the misery no no just it's a mental exercise you keep on changing the habit pattern of the mind it's not a, not a body exercise so don't create any strain to your body work with the mind only when do you know you are enlightened <laughs> i mean do you keep practicing vipassana till your last breath if one is really enlightened certainly one will keep on practicing vipassana to enjoy the peace and to give a good good example to others look enlightened and yet practicing vipassana it's important to practice vipassana who are the teachers of 10 day residential course are they competent <laughs> they are competent that is why they are, they are made teachers proper training is give, given it takes years together to become efficient in this technique and then one must have pure mind to generate love and compassion one must have a feeling of selfless service without expecting anything in return then only one is given the training of a teacher so don't be afraid any teacher who is giving this these courses are well trained come to the courses and take advantage of the teaching Can't I, can't I still have fun in life if I learn Vipassana? <laughs> have fun, but with equanimity. Don't lose your equanimity and have fun.
Nothing wrong in enjoying fun. What is the difference between Bhakti Yoga and Vipassana? Bhakti is to develop devotion and it becomes a wrong devotion. If the devotion is only to expect something, please give me this, oh God, oh Goddess, please give me this, please give me this, fulfill this desire, that desire, no. The devotion should be that you have, you understand that your deity, this God or Goddess has these qualities. If not good qualities, how will we God? Good qualities. So may I get, gain the strength to develop those very qualities myself. Devotion is wonderful. Bhakti is wonderful. It is for this purpose to develop the qualities of your deity. What can be said to those of us who dislike ourselves? Why dislike yourselves? You practice your personal and you start liking everything. When the mind is peaceful and pure, you start liking but there is no attachment. In a detached way, you are always happy. In every situation, you are happy inside and you make others happy. What is true love? True love is, there is no trace of passion, there is no trace of lust. Pure love is compassionate love. It's one-way traffic. You just give without expecting anything in return. If you love expecting something in return, then you are not, you are not loving this person, you are loving yourself. Because you want something. It's a business love then. Commercial love. You give me and then I give you something. Not pure love. Pure love is one way traffic. You just give without expecting anything in return. Just give. This is pure love. And this will automatically happen when the mind is pure. How is Vipassana meditation relevant in a world of increasing fascism and terrorism in the name of religion? Because these people do not know what real religion is. Every religion in the world, the quintessence of every religion is to live a moral life with a disciplined mind, pure mind, full of love, compassion, goodwill. Every religion has this essence. But there are outer, outer shell, every religion, outer shell, which is different. Rites, rituals, dogmas, beliefs, this philosophical belief, that philosophical belief, and they start quarreling on that. My belief is right, your belief is wrong, mine is life, because your attachment to your belief, and all this trouble starts. If you give importance to this inner quintessence, which is common to all the religions, all this problem will go away, and Vipassana helps. That is why in Vipassana, people of every religion are participating. There is no religion in the world. No tradition in the world whose followers are not coming for 10 days Vipassana courses. Even their leaders are coming. Up till now, more than 2,000 Christian priests and nuns have participated. And so many Hindu sannyasis, Buddhist monks, nuns, Jain monks, nuns, they are coming. And everyone feels, this is my religion. Because the quintessence of every religion is the same. I remember the first missionary who came to the courses, three of them. One was a very elderly mother superior. At the end of the course, he says, Goenka, you are teaching Christianity in the name of Buddha. I am teaching Dhamma, the way of life. Christ also taught the same thing. Have a pure mind, a pure heart, full of love, full of compassion. But how to attain that? Here is a practice and people attain it. Large number of people are coming from different communities, different religions, different traditions. Does one need a guru? To realize the self, are you a guru? <laughs> well, if there is a guru who says, come, I will liberate you. I will liberate you from all your misery. Then there is something wrong. Nobody can liberate us from our misery. One has to work out one's own salvation. But if someone says, I am just a guide. I have walked on this path. I will show you the path. You have to take every step on the path to come out of your misery then this person is not exploiting you. Otherwise, there is every possibility, every danger of you are getting exploited by the so-called gurus. How will Vipassana affect someone who has had a psychic trauma? It is for this purpose. People having psychic trauma, such a big impact on the mind. Sometime memory of some bad incident happened in the life, such a big impact. By this technique, that impact will start coming on the surface. With this sensation or that sensation, you are observing, 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 becomes weaker and weaker and passes away. The memory will remain, but the misery will go away. 
So the technique is to come out of all sorts of traumas that one has faced in the life. Many more questions, but oh. this will be the last one. This, is this one, the, the last one? one? After that, I am liberated? Yeah. Others also liberated? Good. <laughs> Can one have a healthy sex life without getting confused with cravings and desire? Sex is for bio reproduction, nothing wrong. But if you become a slave of the sex, then Sex with this person, then that person, then that person, one becomes a sex maniac. Come out of that. Don't be that. Have a balanced mind. If both husband and wife, they are good vipassana meditator, they will find their mind is becoming more and more disciplined. They are not slaves of the sex. Even if they have sex, they are not breaking their shila. And slowly, time will come when there will be no need for any sex. And they remain, remain so contented, so happy. Real celibacy will come. If one has commitments from another practice of Buddhism, can he still practice 10 days of Vipassana without compromising his commitments? What commitments? When you come to know the actual teaching of the Buddha, actual teaching of Buddha is four noble truths. This is suffering. And this is the deep-rooted cause of the suffering. And this is a way to eradicate and come out of suffering. How can you be committed to something which is not this? This is what Buddha taught, how to come out of suffering. He says, I am teaching only two things, suffering and the way to come out of suffering. And here Vipassana is to understand what is suffering and how to come out of suffering. You are not coming out of any kind of commitment you have made. You make good commitment as per the teaching of Buddha. At the third council, the great Buddhist monks said that learning the teaching of Buddha was as important as practicing meditation. Certainly, Unless you practice, I don't call it meditation because the word meditation has uh, many different meanings. Observation. Unless you practice this observation, you can't understand where the real misery lies and what is the real cause of the misery at the depth. And you can't change the habit pattern at the deepest level. This was the great invention of Buddha, a great discovery of Buddha rather. And if you miss that discovery, then we are not real followers of Buddha. If somebody says, I am a follower of Buddha, one has to practice Vipassana to come out of all the miseries. Who finances the Vipassana movement? The students who come to the courses, nothing is charged for the teaching. From the Buddha's time, always the teaching should be free. If you start charging for the teaching, then it becomes a commercial commodity. And if you make dharma a commercial commodity, it loses its purity. So there were no charges. Even these are residential courses, so no charges for boarding and lodging also. Then from where the money comes? It does not rain from the sky. These very people who take the course, at the end of the course, they find so much benefit I have got, so much of peace I have got, and I have got a path now. Walking on this, I will become more and more peaceful. May more and more people learn this technique and come out in misery. There is misery all around. So out of love and compassion for other miserable people, one gives donation so that more and more courses can be arranged. Such all the centers that are built are built by the donation of the grateful students with compassion, whatever donation that they have given. If Vipassana helped King Ashoka, why don't you invite leaders of Israel and Palestine to do Vipassana. By my invitation, who will come? <laughs> no question of my giving invitation. The message goes. Slowly, in a few years' time, people will start understanding that there exists a technique which can help. And the leaders of the society, they will understand. Good or bad, everything percolates on the top of the society and goes down. If the leaders of the society understand we are responsible for the peace of the society, we are responsible for the misery of the society, they will start practicing. They themselves will come out of all this misery that is now going on and it will start helping the public also. So either it is Israel or, or Palestine or it is India or Pakistan, anywhere. Terrorism is a great, uh, great disaster for the humanity. And this can be 
relieved. This can be eradicated only by the technique. First it starts with the top people. Now a number of people are coming from different religions. There are courses going on regularly in Israel. Regular 10-day courses are going on in Israel. And always, every course, there is a wait list. And similarly in the Middle East, in Iran, courses are going on. And there is a wait list. It has started. A time will come when people will start realizing, the leaders will start realizing that there is a way where we can also become Ashoka and help ourselves and help others. The time is coming. It will be soon possible. What is the location of the mind? That is what you will know. Coming to the course, you will find what is this mind? How it works? How it reacts? Everything that will be quite possible for you to understand. Why is it wrong for a person to practice Vipassana to cure a disease such as cancer? No, if you join a course to help yourself to get cured for any physical disease, then all the time your attention will be on this disease. Am I getting cured? Am I getting cured? You won't practice. So come to cure your mind. Your mind is a sick mind, full of craving, aversion, defilements. Work for that. And as a byproduct, most of the psychosomatic diseases will automatically go away. You won't have to do anything. But purely physical diseases like cancer, there also you will find some relief. At least the mind will remain very healthy. And you are accepting the pain that you experience. And you are with equanimity, you are accepting it, accepting it, observing it. There have been many cases where somebody has died in cancer and the terminal stage of cancer is so painful. And these people who have died in cancer, good meditators, they won't take any sedative. They will keep on observing, observing, observing the pain and smilingly pass away. They don't cry. It's an art of dying. How to die peacefully in spite of pain. This is possible only when you learn art of living, then art of dying will become automatically possible. How can I keep on giving pure love to a horrible person? A horrible person needs love. Horrible, miserable, what horrible? This person is generating so much of anger, hatred. And you know now that by generating anger, hatred, I become so miserable. This person is so miserable, burning. Now this person is burning. I don't feel like throw some, throwing some petrol on this person. I feel like throwing some cold water on this person. He comes out of misery. So have generate love and compassion for horrible persons. They need it. What is there at the deepest level of the mind? Is it emptiness or Satchit Anand? Satchit Anand, you start with that. You observe. You observe the truth that is Sat. And you observe the mind, that is Chit, and the Anand, as much as impurity goes away, that much Anand is there. And you reach a stage where there is nothing but peace, harmony, peace, harmony, happiness. And as you keep on observing the truth, subtler, subtler, you transcend the field of mind and matter. You transcend the field of entire sensorium and the peace that you experience then, indescribable. Experience it. And then you won't come to ask me questions like this. Be happy. Be all of you be happy. Enjoy peace. Enjoy harmony. Enjoy real happiness.